What is up guys, uh, it's super fucking early in the morning, but um, I wanted to get up uh, just to see this trailer. New Ghost of the Shell trailer just dropped. Um, if you guys have seen me, seen me before, you guys know I'm a huge Ghost of the Shell fan. It's actually my favorite anime of all time. Um, although Berserk is coming pretty close, I'm really enjoying Berserk right now. Um, but yeah, Ghost of the Shell is definitely my favorite of all time. Um, I have two tattoos of Ghost of the Shell. Um, I'm not going to show it again because I've literally showed it off like four times in my videos. So um, if you really want to see it that bad, go see my other reactions for Ghost in the Shell. Um, but yeah, really excited for this trailer. Um, what I want to see in this trailer, um, let's actually see like Togusa. <laughs> like, um, I really enjoyed the, the last, the Super Bowl trailer that we got last time. Um, just seeing like a full picture of Section 9 in action was awesome. The music, of course, like that was the best part of that trailer. Um, but yeah, let's like let's actually see Togusa, you know what I mean? Um, hear him say something. You don't have to show his family in this trailer, but I just want to hear him talk, you know? I just want to see his face. Like, let's show him. Um, Morbato is always good. Um... Let's see Aramaki, like, behind the desk, de debriefing uh, Section 9. That would be pretty cool. Um, what else? I mean, more Kuze as well, man, because I feel like he's the main villain for this movie, right? And I feel like we haven't really seen him that much. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of more of him would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't want to hear any fucking dubstep, like, let's, the last trailer was so good using the original score, so more of that would be pretty cool, um, and then, yeah, I mean, I guess that's pretty much it, and for the love of God, do not show the geisha anymore, man, like, we've seen the geisha, like, what, three or four times, like, we get it, it looks cool, it looks really, really cool, but we don't need to see it anymore, we've seen it way too many times. Uh, so yeah, let's see this trailer in three, two, one. City, man, the city looks great. Fuck yeah, man. Some classic section I'm nine shit. Watching you. You have to remember. It. I saw someone down there. He wasn't human. He's a known terrorist. And he's killed again. They didn't just kill them. They hacked Whoa, into their minds. Okay. We haven't seen that. There's everywhere. Tell yourself. Nowhere. I will find him. I'm the fucking garbage guy. And I will kill him. Now it's running. Talk about your past. I don't remember much. Just fragments. There was an attack. You were dying. We saved you. And now you save others. That's a cool shot. Everything they told you was a lie. There they go with that line again. Family. They saved you or whatever. They didn't remember save you. Remember that. But are you? They gave her a bike? What a beauty you are. That is kind of the outfit from Arise, right? Weird. What do you want from me? They did not save your life. They stole it. That line, man. Why why do they keep hammering that line? Why were there before me? She was supposed to have a clean brain. I order you to terminate. Major! They created me, but they cannot control me. This is so weird. Like, I honestly don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Like, this trailer is like. I feel like there's a lot of good things in here, but I mean, obviously, let's get like 
I think the big concern for people will be is the story. Um, like, the government is, like, I don't want to say they're controlling her, but, like, they're going to terminate her or some shit like that. Uh, the government made her. And, like, this just seems more like, and granted, I haven't seen a lot of Ghost of the Shell Arise, but this seems more of, like, arise kind of stuff you know what i mean because like i feel like the government is way more um involved in arise and like the major stuff like that again i i barely know what i'm talking about because i haven't seen i've only seen border three out of from arise um but just from what i've been able to tell like i feel like the government is way more like a thing in arise um yeah, it's weird, dude. Like, they created me, but they cannot control me. So, like, the government is, like, I don't know, man. It's weird. The story just seems, like, <laughs> like generic, unfortunately. Like, she's going to get back at the government, like, the government like wronged her or something her makers like this like taking out her makers basically um like that's kind of what i've gotten out of this trailer um just like a generic storyline man and that's not what like i wanted but like at the same time it's like <sighs> did we really expect for them to really go into like what made ghost in the shell ghost in the shell in terms of its story um you know, I've said it before, like, Ghost of the Shell to me has always been, uh, like, Motoko's dilemma, you know what I mean, about, she doesn't feel human, she feels like she's just a part of, like, an assembly line, like, there's, there's a scene where she sees, like, her same, like, shell model in the window, like, a, like, other people look exactly like her, so she feels like she's just, like, she's not, she doesn't have any individuality, you know what I mean, she's just, like, a part of an assembly line, just, like, a product. Um, but then, you know, eventually she finds out her ghost is the thing that makes her human. Like, that is her individuality. That is what makes her different is her ghost, um, her soul, her consciousness. Um, that is the one thing that makes her human. Um, but I don't know. I just don't get that vibe <laughs> with this at all, which sucks, man, because like, that's my favorite part of Ghost of the Shell, like, these these questions of like if you were if you were to put the brain into a, a cybernetic shell would the soul transfer over you know what i mean would the consciousness still be there or would you be something completely different um you know what does it mean to be human when uh you know prosthetics and cyborgs and humans are becoming so alike in this time that you can't tell the difference between one another you know it's just all these questions is like the reason why I love Ghost in the Shell so much, man. It really makes you think. Um, and it's like, it's not even the fact that it's like really dumbed down in this, but it's like, it just seems like it's not even there at all, dude. And that's like, that's kind of like, that's really concerning, man. That it's just, to me at least, it seems like it's not even here at all. Like they're really, really trying to go for her past it's like, it was, <laughs> it was like such a, not even like a major thing in standalone complex, like her and Crusade's past, like it was a pretty big deal, but it wasn't like the central, like integral focus of the second season for standalone complex, like finding out uh, her story when she was a kid. That wasn't like the main focus of it, but it's like. I don't know, dude, like, they really want to talk about her past here, and, like, I don't know, dude, it's just, like, there's a lot of, like, weird stuff, and, like, I'm, I'm all for, like, changing some things as long as it makes sense, and as long as it's good, too, you know what I mean, but it's, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm still very, I'm very skeptical, like, it's funny because the la the Super Bowl trailer, like, I was so fucking on board. Like, I was like, yes, they are doing this fucking right. But it's like, I don't know, dude. I just don't like the whole government stuff in this. Um, them wanting to terminate her. Um, 
her going back at the government. Like, I don't really like that stuff. Um, and she was, like, asking, like, Aramaki a question. Um, I think about her past. So, like, if, like, kind of insinuating that, like, Aramaki or Section 9 has a hand in this as well. I don't know, dude. It's weird. It is really, really weird. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I was, um, like I said in before the video, I was, I wanted to see Togusa. It was cool to see him that little bit. So I'm happy in that aspect. Um, got to see Aramaki behind the desk, which was pretty cool. Um, and another Arise thing. I wish they wouldn't pull from Arise because, uh, again, I've only seen one border, but I know a lot of people aren't really too keen on Ghost in the Shell Arise, but it's like weird. They gave her the Arise bike and they gave her like the outfit from Arise. So they're, they're literally just pulling from like anything they fucking can, dude. Um, yeah, it's weird. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i trying to see what other people think of this trailer, man. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah, see, this guy is saying that they really fucked up the story. Um, that Section 9 looks like a villainous organization. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like... This Aramaki in the government, like, Aramaki looks like he has a hand in, like, trying to terminate, uh, the Major or whatever. Um. And Kuze being, like, a terrorist, like, I don't really know about that. Like. Like, I don't even think they're gonna touch on the whole Civil War and refugee storyline with Kuze from second gig. I don't think they're going to even touch on that. So it's like, he just seems like way more cookie cutter uh, in this. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It just really sucks that it looks like the whole philosophy stuff of Ghost of the Shell is not going to be there. Like, that's my biggest takeaway from this trailer. I was really hoping they would at least give me something along those lines about philosophy and stuff like that for Ghost of the Shell. But, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, biggest takeaways, I hate the government stuff. I really do. I wish it wasn't there. Um, the Hanka stuff. Um, I don't like that that doctor lady who is like working on the major's body who said uh we saved you or now you save others stuff like that uh in the first trailer she was saying how she's like um the first of her kind or some shit or some shit like that which is absolutely not true because the uh the major is not like one of the big parts of her dilemma is that um she doesn't feel human at be, partly because there's other models of her in the world. So the fact that they're saying that she is one of a kind is like completely not true. Um, I don't know, man. It's like, like I said, there's some good things. There's some bad things. Um, yeah, I don't know. Weird trailer, but I'm still going to see the movie, man. I'm still going to see. It. I think, I think Scarlet is still going to kill it, but it's just that movie script. The movie visually the city everything looks awesome it looks true to the anime but again it's just that story uh but that's pretty much it for my reaction like come up subscribe tell me what you guys thought you guys feel the same way about the story um yeah that's pretty much it see you guys next time